Hey guys, are you like me wishing that you could travel around the world and go to all these exotic places and taste these amazing foods? Well, today we're gonna travel to the Mediterranean in our kitchen. We're gonna cook up chicken shawarma. Now, a lot of these recipes call for expensive equipments like a, a spit and a rotisserie, but today we're gonna do it all in our kitchen and I'm gonna show you how. So right now, once you reach down, smash that subscribe button, let's praise the Lord and let's get cooking. Okay guys, so let's go over the spices that we're gonna use in our chicken shawarma. These are everything that's gonna go into our marinade for our chicken. First thing up is cumin, followed by curry. We've got some amazing smoked paprika, some fresh ground allspice, some turmeric, some kosher salt, and my wife's favorite, the <laughs> cayenne pepper. The recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you love heat, feel free to add some more. If you don't like heat, you can leave it out. It's your recipe, you do you. The other ingredients we have is some olive oil, some fresh squeezed lemon juice, and garlic. So let's get all these combined together and let's get our chicken chopped up and in the marinade. Now, when it comes to things like lemon juice, I prefer to use fresh lemons. If you don't have fresh lemons and you got the bottle, it's okay. It's, it's okay. We're gonna take our lemon and we're just gonna cut it in half, put it in our fancy dancy lemon squeezer. Whoa, this thing's so big it doesn't wanna fit. If it, sir, I, did, I didn't know this, but uh, we want about two tablespoons of lemon juice. That looks like it's about one. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. God made provision. He gave us hands. <laughs> Take your fingers like this, hold it like that. You see the seeds right here? Can you see those seeds right there? We're gonna cup our hand and squeeze the lemon juice and the seeds directly into our hand, but we're gonna catch the seeds in our fingers, letting the lemon juice come through. Now, if you don't have a fancy garlic press, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get these in there. We're gonna take and we're gonna cut off our end then we're gonna take our chef's knife on the side, put it on top of the clove, and we're gonna give it a good quick pop. Then we're just gonna continue coming in and start slicing down through it. You may need to kind of hold on to it, but here's the trick. After we get a little bit of a dice on it, you could stop right here and it would be okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of salt and we're just gonna put some salt on it. And this salt is gonna add kind of like sandpaper. And we're just gonna come in and pull it, give a little chop. Maybe we need to give a little more choppity, choppity, choppity. And you're just gonna use your knife and just pull it back. And you can hear it grinding through there. Bring it forward, get it off your knife. Just use your knife and just start squishing it. Can you see how that's working in there? Just kind of squishing it, squishing it. We're taking a little bits at a time and I'm just pushing it like this. And you can see it's nice and almost to a, you keep going and this will become almost like a paste, but you just get it to the consistency you want to where it just kind of evaporates into our cooking. And that ladies and gentlemen is some beautifully crushed garlic. And now we're just gonna give it a quick little stir. We're just gonna give this a quick whirl we're gonna set this aside and chop up our chicken. So we're gonna take our chicken. Today we're using boneless, skinless thighs. And I always like to take off this little bit of extra fat. It's really not needed. Um, I don't want too much extra fat in my, in my uh, chicken. Now right here where this comes up, you can just take your knife nice and sharp and just kind of go in at it, throw it in our handy dandy garbage bowl. That was one of the tips, clean as we go. We're gonna cut across into nice little strips, our chicken thighs. And these go right into our marinade. Okay, now we've got all of our chicken in our bowl. We're just gonna give it a nice toss. You just wanna make sure that we get it all in that beautiful marinade. So now we're just gonna put some cellophane on this and get it in the fridge. Let it marinate for a good half hour. If you can do this in the morning and then come back after work, it's even better. But we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, before we get going full on, 
with chicken shawarma, jamming all that good, delicious numbiness in our face, I've got an extra thing that's gonna take it even to the next level. You're gonna grab your favorite brand of mayonnaise, whatever that is. This is the best one I can think of for the food that I eat. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I don't know, however much that is, a little bit of mayonnaise. Probably about a quarter cup, maybe. About a quarter cup. Um, two cloves of garlic, or one big giant one, whatever you got. And some more lemon juice. This is about, I'd say probably about close to two tablespoons. I'm gonna put in a little bit at a time. We may not need it all. We're gonna give this a little bit of a whirl around. And just kind of incorporate this. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna grab me I'm gonna take a whisk and just kind of get this going real good. And you see, just wanna get it nice and smooth. Give it a good whisk. Now I think the lumps that we're seeing now is probably the garlic. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is grab our tasting spoon. Two spoons! One for dipping and one for tasting. Just a little bit more lemon juice. Probably about another half a teaspoon. Give that a quick little whirl in there. If you're really talented, you can go after it. Give this to my professional taste tester. How's that? That's really good. <laughs> Here's the beautiful thing about eating garlic, guys. If you eat it and your spouse eats it, neither of you care, neither of you know. But if you and your spouse don't both eat it, gentlemen, you could be on the couch. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and set this in the fridge, fire up our pan, get it preheated, and we're gonna cook us some shawarma. It's one of the great things about being able to have all these different international foods come into your kitchen is that we get to experience the amazing flavors and tastes of all these foods from around the world. But you see, the opposite was true when it comes to the gospel. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 28, he said, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So God gave us the ability to go forth and share the good news, which is salvation in Jesus Christ. Okay guys, so our pan is good and hot. I've been preheating it on a medium high heat, so it's good and ripping hot. I'm not gonna dump all this chicken in there at once. We're gonna do this in batches. We're gonna fry it up and instead of getting a char, we're gonna go for a really good hot sear, all right? So here we go. We're gonna add some in. Listen to them sizzle. This is the benefit of having a really hot pan. You see, I'm not overcrowding my pan and I wanna get these separated. We wanna evaporate that excess moisture off the face and off the surface of the food and start to get a really nice mylar reaction going where the food crisp up and all those seasonings intensify. Okay guys, we're gonna take a look here. See what we got. This is what we're looking for. This right here. This is that milliard reaction we're looking for. You'll see I switched over to a set of tongs because I want to turn each and every one of these over. And we're just going to go and continue until these are cooked through. Couple more minutes per side. Okay guys, these, this first batch is looking good. We're going to go ahead, park it in this bowl real quick. and add our second batch. And we'll just continue cooking these, browning them up, and we'll come back when we're all finished. Okay guys, our chicken shawarma is done. This looks absolutely amazing.
Oh my word. Look how soft and tender that is. Oh man. The lemon comes in right at the right time. All those different spices. You've got to try this. It's amazing. But we're going to take it up a level. So check this out. We've also got a side that we're going to add to this too. Some homemade garlic fries. If you want to see how we made these, I'll leave a card up here and a link in the description below. These are dynamite. We're going to put on, this is how we do it in our house, yo. We're going to pile on some chicken right on top. Maybe put a couple more on there because I'm super hungry. And we're going to hit it with this amazing sauce that we made. Okay, guys. This is our chicken shawarma with our garlic fries and that garlic mayonnaise lemon sauce. Oh my gosh, let's check this out. Um, see if we can get a piece of everything in here. One fry, one chicken, lots of, little more sauce on there. Oh, got it. Oh man, this is so good. That mayonnaise, the lemon, just kind of coats the mouth. The cayenne's not pushing through really hard this time. My wife really enjoys that. <laughs> but hey, if you guys want to see more recipes like this, or maybe pick another country, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, ring that bell notification, click that like, share this video with your friends and family, and feel free to make this yourself. And if you do, let me know in the comments below how it turned out for you. If you like this recipe, I really think you're gonna like this one over here. God bless you guys. Love you.